Representative Lani Mercado Revilla. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Just a matter of uh, parliamentary inquiry, uh, Mr. Chair. This is not actually an objection of the motion that we just uh, had uh, uh, a few minutes ago. I just like to inquire with the CA secretary or the, the CA legal if a waiver of the seven day publication requirement could be a committee decision only, or should it be raised later before the plenary for ratification? Secretary Myra. The opinion of our legal secretary and secretary is that it has always been done the waiver for the seven day notice at the committee level because it is at the it is the committee that uh, summons the uh, nominees and appointees to the hearing of the committee. In this instance, the Committee on National Defense. Uh, Mr. Chairman, your honors. So the waiver is also done at committee level. Mr. Chairman, your honors. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Secretary. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, my question is for uh, Colonel Francel Margaret P. Taborlupa. Jerry, goodbye. Your excuse. Colonel. Good morning. Yes, Mr. Chair, actually, uh, the reason uh, that the, the reason why I asked Colonel Francel Margaret Taborlupa to be on the stand is uh, it's more fitting uh, since March is uh, the celebration of Women's Month uh, for the Commission that uh, we confirm and promote women, uh, the first woman. Uh, spokesperson of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Siya po yung kauna-una. Nakaka-proud po ang milestone na ito, uh, Colonel Francel. Congratulations. How do you feel right now, Colonel? Would you like to share to this August body some of your most important achievements for our country in your years of service in the Armed Forces? Actually, ma'am, um, with all the um, accolades that was given. It's more of like a humbling experience for me. Um, 88 years of the armed forces and it's the first time and I was, um, I did not uh, actually uh, anticipate or even dreamt that I'd become the first AFP spokesperson. But being a spokesperson, ma'am, is a position of trust. So for some reason, um, that was why I was selected. Um, I do not know the wisdom behind um, the higher, high, with their higher ups, but I am truly humbled with the um, with the position, and I hope that I'll be able to live up to the expectations of those who believe in me. Colonel, what do you envision as your initiatives that can further advance the representation and effectiveness of women within uh, the AFP? Um, I'm from the Signal Corps. Um, and in the Signal Corps, um, we are advocating for the C4S, Command Control Communications and Cyber, cyber Operations. And with that, um, I am more into the cybersecurity domain as of the moment, uh, along with my being spokesperson. So um, I'm pushing forward um, an advocacy which I dub as Cyber for Peace. It's actually the nexus between technology and development because us soldiers are inherent, inherently development practitioners. So with that, ma'am, I'm also trying to be um, more of uh, representative of women in this field. So I am very much involved in women in cybersecurity at this point, ma'am. So I am due to represent the Philippines as well in April in Dubai uh, for the cyber women. Congratulations, uh, Colonel. Uh, your, your position is truly inspiring. And as you made mentioned, it is humbling in nature. But uh, we look forward in seeing more of you and explaining the duties and responsibilities and the plans of the AFP in protecting our country. Uh, dahil pinagdiriwang po natin, Mr. Chair, ang Women's Month, uh, gusto ko pong kilalanin ang mga newly promoted women officers na sina, of course, Colonel Francel Margaret P. Taborlupa, who is making history as the first woman spokesperson of the AFP. Colonel Leonora V. Bascogin, uh, kindly stand up. 
uh, the first female honorary member of the elite scout ranger unit, Colonel Nida P. Gutierrez, PMA class of 1999, fifth placer, Colonel uh, Rachel C. Hudilia, a resident of Trece Martires Cavite, Colonel Raquel A. Vilches, a homegrown Caviteña, born in Tansa, Colonel Little uh, Rose Ann C. Abutin, Colonel Deborah G. Castillo, Colonel Sheila Marie F. Daus, Colonel Maria Victoria Aster Esquelis, is this correct? Uh, Colonel Lorvina N. Lamug, Colonel Marie Teresa C. Marañon, Colonel Cheryl M. Ramos, and Captain Lily Rose L. Steele. Salamat po sa pagiging inspirasyon po ninyo sa lahat po ng mga kababaihan na way ipagpatuloy po ninyo ang magandang servisyo na ito sa ating pong bayan. Congratulations po. And also, Mr. Chair, gusto ko din pong batiin ang mga magigiting na miyembro ng sandatahang lakas mula sa Cavite. Uh, incidentally, you, we are celebrating on March 22, uh, the anniversary, the 127th anniversary of the Philippine Army, coinciding with the birthday of our hero in Cavite, the first president of the Republic, General Emilio Aguinaldo. It's a holiday in the province of Cavite on March 22. Uh, gusto ko pong uh, bigyan ng importansya si Captain Malone Agudelo. Homegrown po siya at pinanganak po sa Cavite City. Naninirahan po sa Cavite at naka-assign po sa Sangli Point. Tama po ba ako, sir? Another homegrown, si Colonel Raquel Vilches. I mentioned a while ago from Tansa at naninirahan po sa Naik at sa Tansa. Residents of Trece Martires Cavite, Colonel Abraham Kalingi Jr., Colonel Rachel C. Hudilia, Colonel Ricky N. Parcon, Colonel Isidro Esma Maril, a resident of Sangli Point, Cavite, but was born in the province of our uh, Vice Chair, Chairman uh, uh, Ramon Guico from Pangasinan, but now is assigned in Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. Colonel Raquel A. Vilches, at mabuhay po kayo. Thank you very much for your, your unwavering service to the Filipino people. Yun lamang po, Mr. Chair. Salamat po. Thank you, Representative Sevilla. Senator uh, Bato de la Rosa. Huwag kang walang tumayo. Diyan ka lang muna. Ano yung yung Kornos schooling mo dito? Signal Captain's Career Course. Signal Captain's Career Course. Signal? Yes, sir. Sig signal? Yes, sir. Signal? Captain's Career Course. Captain's Career Course. So, kumil ka ngayon, asay? Uh, I'm the spokesperson, sir, and the, yes, sir, the station manager of the DWWD, sir, AFP Radio, sir. Ah, saan ba yan? Yung signal yan? Anong lugar yan? Port Gordon in Georgia, USA. Port? Port Gordon, sir. Gordon? Yes, sir. Saan sa Georgia? Georgia? Georgia, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Eh, hoy, kuwan ako eh. Augusta, Do, sir. Doon ako sa U.S. Army Infantry School. Port Benning, Georgia. Port, yes, sir. Georgia rin yun, di ba? Yes, sir. Oh, basta ganyan. Nag-US uh, Ranger ako doon. Georgia. Port Benning. Kaya alam ko yan yung sod na ganyan. Yung parang, ang tawag niyan, parang cake. Parang uh, cake or parang, uh, uh, hindi, yung kopya. Kasi laki ng hopya, yung ko, no? Laki ko, parang hopya. No? Yes. Thank you, Hati. Anong class ka? 2,000, sir. 2,000? Yes, sir. 2,000? Yes, sir. Lahat kayo, Paul Kernel lang kayo, yung mga 2,000? I have a lot of Mista in the class. Lahat yan, ang mga 2,000? Um, Ramihan? Almost half, sir. Okay. So, ano ba yung pinaka, pinaka matandang uh, female class, uh, PMA? 97, sir. 97? Yes, sir. May general na, na 97. Wala, sir. Wala uh, pa. Full colonel, sir. Yes, sir. Ikaw, full colonel, for full colonel ka pa. Yes, sir. Mm. So, wala pang general sa 97? Wala pa po, sir. Sa lalaki, meron na? Wala pa po, sir. Wala pa rin? Yes, sir. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator uh, Ronald Patodil Rosak. Uh, Representative Loyola, sir. 
Please Thank proceed. you, Mr. Chair. Good morning to distinct members of this committee. Before I manifest my support for the interim appointment and nomination for the 129 officers of the armed forces, I would like to thank them for their service, services to the nation. Whether it is in the defense of our country from foreign and domestic threats, your work and the sacrifices you make for our people makes me proud to be a Filipino. No less than the Constitution has bestowed upon the armed forces of the Philippines the distinct title of being the protectors of the people and the state. Such constitutional mandate is crucial, is crucial in the overall welfare, not only of our citizens, but also of our national sovereignty and territorial integrity. To say that this is a tremendous responsibility is an understatement. We should regard it as a social covenant, a sacred obligation of our armed forces of the Philippines, leadership to the people, and fundamentally to our nation. With this, I would like to reiterate that loyalty to the Philippines and the Filipino people must always come first. This is what must be in your mind as you carry out your day-to-day -day duties as members of our armed forces. I say this because based on the report submitted by the secretariats, some of the, some of the spouse or siblings of our uh, officers to be confirmed today is either citizens or working or former working in other country. Mr. Chairman, I would like to manifest my support for the ad interim appointments and nomination of the 129 officers of the armed forces. And I would like also to support the manifestation of support and recognition as a fellow Masons to our brethren of uh, Congressman Johnny Pimentel, to the member of the uh, pre and accepted Masons of the Philippines. Congratulations for giving honor to the fraternity, and I hope you will continue to shine and be the guiding stars to all the brethren in the military service. Allow me also to congratulate my fellow Capitanos who will be confirmed today. Thank you for uh, giving honor also to the province. Isa kayong bayani para sa ating lalawigan. That will be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Loyola. Again, congratulations to my dads. Representative Alvarez. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. This won't take too long since considering they're packed like sardines right now. Um, Mr. Chair, this representation would like to express her support to, to the officers mentioned, but with special mention to some officers that I have worked or met in the past years as representative of the Chicks area, as well as during my study year at the National Defense College of the Philippines and as an Army Reservist, namely Colonel Egbert Jonathan Abutin, um, Colonel Charlie Tuliao, and Colonel Romel Langkawon, who was once a lecturer of mine during uh, when I was taking up MNSA, as well as two, sna two snappy scout rangers, Mr. Chair, Colonel Eugenio Bakiran, as well as Colonel Raymond Rapi. Um, in addition, Mr. Chair, Representative Mari Carzamora and I would also like to express our support to Colonel Michael Aquino and Colonel Rachel Hudilia, who is a medical doctor. And I will be remiss, Mr. Chair, as a Negrense, if I do not mention the officers who, fail from Negr who hail from Negros Occidental, including Bacolod City, namely Colonel Francis Signoron, who is from who was born in Calatrava, Negros Occidental, Colonel Jonathan Panis from Silay City, um, Colonel Anjovic Atiliano from Bacolod, and General Eleglin Villaflor, who is also from Bacolod City. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And of course, um, thank you very much for your service. And of course, we fully support your confirmation this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman uh, Alvarez. Senator Bato. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Excuse ka na. The, Mr. Chair, pwedeng tawagin si Colonel Comendador. 
Colonel Comendador. Upo ka diyan. Dalawa kayo si Colonel Aquino. Colonel Aquino. Sino na ba sa inyong brigade commander? Wala pa no? Sa army. Sino na brigade commander? Wala pa. Kasi mga full colonel pa kayo, di ba? Merong brigade commander diyan? Ha? Wala pa. Sige po. Ikaw ah uh, diyan. Ah uh, Komendador, uh, naging batalyong komander ka, di ba? Yes, sir. Relax ka lang. Hindi kita sinasalang dyan para ipahiya. Gaw gusto lang kitang gawing example. Dahil ako yung mahanga sa'yo, yung batalyong komander ka sa... Ano yung batalyon mo dyan? 88th Infantry Stokes Battalion, sir. 88th Infantry Battalion? Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, uh, itong official na isa kasi... Uh, he, he went out uh, of his way para lang matulungan yung mga former rebels. Uh, Isahit ko lang example lang. Kahapon kasi, uh, sa opisina ko, may pumunta ng mga former rebels at nagreklamo, umiiyak. Umiiyak dahil ano na daw gawin nila ngayon na uh, nag umalis na daw sila sa kalihukan tapos ngayon, pinabayaan daw sila ng guberno yung kanilang uh, pinapromise sa kanila na eclipse na program na na ibigay sa kanila hindi pa rin doon natanggap hanggang ngayon tapos ngayon hinahabol na sila ng kanilang kasamaan na gusto na pabalikin sa taas sa bundok so umiiyak yung mga former rebels sa aking opisina kahapon kaya gusto kong emphasize ngayon kayo magiging mga brigade commander kayo sana kagaya ng ginawa ni Colonel Commendador he went out of his way Kita niya na yung mga alanganin yung suporta para sa kanya mga former rebels, yung mga surrenderist niya. Pumunta siya sa opisina ko, hihingi ng mga AX kung anong maibigay doon sa mga former rebels. And our office is very happy to to help makatanggap ng AX yung mga former rebels natin. Dahil eh, kung hindi sila nabigyan ng eclipse na pinapromise, anong mangyari sa kanila kung pabayaan ninyo? Eh kayo, yung... Y- Puro kayo expose sa field. Alam ninyo anong hirap na mga NPA na yan. Ngayon na bumaligtad na, eh ngayon yung ating uh, NTF ILCAC, medyo humihina yung programa, na wala na yung suporta doon sa kada barangay, nag iyakan yung mga former rebels ngayon. So dapat kayo, hanap kayo ng diskarte. This is the time for you to, sabi nga natin, kayong mga opisyal na military, Huwag kayong magpagamit sa mga politiko. Lalo na yung politiko na mayroong evil desire, may mga evil uh, intention na gamitin kayo para sa kanilang pamulitika. This is the time na kayo ang gumamit sa politiko. Like Colonel Comendador has done. Ginamit niya ako. O, para makatulong doon sa mga surrenderers niya, mga NPA surrenderers. Magbibigay ng AX kung anong maibigay natin. Ganyan dapat ang mga commander. Hindi yung kung ano lang darating. Madiskarte, pero hindi yung discard. Iba yung discarte sa atin, di ba? Pag madiskarte ka, discarte para sa bulsa. Di ba? Discarte para sa kabutihan ng kanyang kapwa Pilipino na dating rebuild eh, na nagsurrender, hinanapan niyang paraan na magaganda ang buhay. Dapat ganun ang gawin nating lahat. So, Mr. Chair, I, I really commend uh, uh, Colonel Erwin Comendador. Taga, taga saan ka? From Davao City, sir. Kaya naman pala eh. Kaya naman pala magaling. Taga Davao pala ito eh. Hindi, hindi ko nga alam mga taga Davao ka. Ang alam ko lang batalyong commander ka doon pero sinusuporta ng opisina ko yung mga former rebels model. Magaling ka eh. Magaling ka mag-alaga sa mga, sa mga rebel din nyo. Mga rebel return eh. At ito rin si Colonel Aquino. Uh, magaling ito na batalyong commander doon sa Kumbal, sa Dabao, Dabao de Oro. pag ako ng Diwalwal, eh, nag-escort ito sa akin na uh, Sir Char, wala akong butas sa Diwalwal ha. Wala akong mining doon. Akit lang ako doon kung ano may tulong. Tutulong ako doon sa mga tao. Pero ito yung sumasama sa akin. Nag-escort. So, yun lang. Ha? Advice ko sa inyo, instead na kayong gamitin ang politiko 
gamitin niyo ang politiko para gumanda ang buhay ng Pilipino. Okay? Ha? So salamat Mr. Chair, yun lang sa akin. Thank you Mr. Chair. Ay yung yun lang gusto ko lang i, I pareho ng ulo ko yung Mr. Chair eh. Pag mga kalbo na opisyal, magagaling yan. Di ba? O sino yung mga kalbo dyan? O yan, magagaling yan. Dahil naubos ang buhok niya sa kakaisip, tactics, strategies, kung paano talunin ang kalaban. Yan yung mga, mga tao na yan, mag, magaling mag-isip. So congratulations sa inyo. Uh, hindi ko na kayo pata- tatawagin isa-isa, pero kayong lahat. This is... Uh, uh, Para sa lahat na nyo ito, ay 